The state capitals reflecting pools are about to go through a $24 million renovation. And when it's completed, there might not be any water in them. Manola Morales explains. Built in 1969, the state capitol has for the most part stood up to the test of time. That is, except for the reflecting pools, which has remained dry and for good reason. The capitol pools have such extensive cracks and leaks that we've elected to just dig it all out and, and replace it with a new flooring and new waterproofing. There are two wells that were providing the water for the pool. Otaguro says one of them started producing brackish water, which had salt water. And that's when problems started to get much worse. And you could see it in some of the offices, as well as within the basement parking as well. So it is extensive, on, especially on the Diamond Head side. Other problems popped up, like algae accumulating, which drew complaints from the public about how bad it smelled. Over the years, ideas were thrown around about what to do with the pools. In 2016, then-Representative Romy Cachola proposed converting them into dancing fountains like those at the Bellagio in Las Vegas. Absolutely, yes, because we don't have any dancing water at all even here in Hawaii. So this will be the first time and I said, I think we can do it here. Otaguro says the plan is to put the bid out in August and replace the flooring at a cost of $24 million. But putting water back in may not happen. From a practical standpoint, it would make sense to minimize whatever water we have so that we don't replicate the, the, the past again 50 years from now. Otaguro says one option being considered is to put in artwork that looks like water, which was done at the number one capital district building when the swimming pool was taken out. Uh, and it preserves the same look and feel, but there's no water there. So, you know, there, there are a lot of artistic ways to accomplish what I believe the original architecture of this building was. Otaguro says the state will be looking to get input from state lawmakers and the public as to what would be the best option. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.